The Wii U is one of Nintendo's worst selling consoles ever, but despite that, they were pumping out some straight fire, so we're here today to talk about the best Wii U games in 2022. Let's talk about it. Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Botox Media. Of course, I recently did a video discussing my favorite 3DS games. I thought it only fair to talk about my favorite Wii U games as I fumble and cannot pick them up. Uh, so I want to do this, although I think it's a little bit harder in 2022 to talk about this for Wii U than it is for 3DS because a lot of these games are on Switch and I'm going to cover those games as well um, and we'll get over those first actually. But the Wii U is a console kind of it sucks man it sucks that well on the one hand it's great it's great that all these games are on switch now it sucks that the wii u's legacy is kind of dead it doesn't really have much of a legacy anymore there are a couple very good games that are still on the console that's they're few and far between you know um funnily enough and i'll say this now i'm not going over every first party game here because some of them i don't particularly like like game of mario uh i have not played xenoblade chronicles x or tokyo mirage sessions on wii u so i'm not including those i'm waiting for those ports well Tokyo Mirage Sessions is already out, but uh, yeah, we're going to get into this today. So uh, I have not 10 games here, probably like 15, 20 that I really wanted to cover today. And we are going to start with the 3DS or 3DS ports, the games that are on Switch. We're going to start with the Switch ports. So uh, starting off here, uh, and this is, it sucks because I want to recommend these games to you. I want to recommend them on Wii U. It is hard to say buy the Wii U version when there's a Switch version. Um, and now actually I'm forgetting there is another game I forgot to grab. I do have it. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. That's a game I think you're actually fine buying on Wii U. Um, the Switch version doesn't really add much. So Do Tropical Freeze, one of the best platformers on the Wii U. Get that game. Anyway, uh, let's get into the stuff I'm actually holding here. Uh, Hyrule Warriors. I really like this game. I think it's one. Of, I think it might be the best Musou I've ever played. Um, I think it's better than Age of Calamity, personally. Age of Calamity just runs a little bit too bad for me. Uh, this game doesn't run amazing either, but it run certainly runs better than that. Uh, the issue is... The Switch version has all the content from the 3DS version and all the DLC all in one. So get the Switch version. But Hyrule Warriors is one of my favorite Wii U games. I had so much fun playing this back in 2014 that uh, I wanted to include it. Next up, I didn't include the base game, but I did want to highlight uh, New Super Luigi U. This game is really good. I think this is the best new soup game. Uh, they're all pretty generic. I think this one has a fun twist of every level being 100 seconds long. So you kind of want a, a speed run, which is how I play Mario levels to begin with. I always just run through them. That's the fun for me is just going as fast as possible. So having a game kind of based around that mechanic and making it a little bit more difficult, I think it was a pretty good idea. Has this cool green case. Uh, yeah, this was a, a standalone DLC, I guess you can call it. Um, but once again, on Switch with New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. But yeah, uh, I recommend New Super Luigi U. That's a game that you don't really need to play on Switch. You can get them cheaper on Wii U and then just play them on Wii U. Uh, they didn't really add much to the Switch version other than uh, Peachette and Nabbit, I think. I, who cares? <laughs> so th those games uh, are fine to play on Wii U. Another game that's now is not fine to play on Wii U uh, because of this new DLC is Mario Kart 8. So uh, this one's kind of, I'm kind of conflicted. I like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe more, obviously. Has more content, has that battle mode has the new DLC, um, and they removed, uh, or they added the double item slot, which I, I hated about Mario Kart 8 when it came out. I, I like my double item slot. I like being able to hold an item behind me. Um, they brought that back. This game has fire hopping, which honestly, at the time I hated, I was like, oh, this isn't fun. Now that I can't fire hop, I'm just like, damn, I want to fire hop. If you don't know what fire hopping is, basically it was a unintended mechanic where you hopped around that made you go really fast. I wish that was back uh, in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, kind of, even though I hated it when it was the prominent thing in the meta for Mario Kart 8. Uh, but it, honestly, looking back, it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, this one's pretty fun. I, I need to do a, a U quest on this, see if it's still properly active, uh, all the servers. But a good game nonetheless. Uh, one that's, yeah, get it on Switch, but uh, the Wii, Wii U version is still uh, pretty fun. Uh, this is a game that you could argue is maybe better on Wii U. I would say, honestly, here's the thing. It's on Wii U, 3DS, and Switch. I still need to play the 3DS version. I do have it. I think the 3DS low-key might be the definitive version because it had the new content from the Switch version. I am, of course, talking about Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Uh, this is a really, really underrated puzzle game. Uh, I don't even know if I can say it's underrated at this point since it's on everything, and I think a lot of people have played it. Uh, but this is a really fun game. The Wii U version had 3D World inspired levels, and I say inspired, they literally took the levels from 3D World and put them in the game, uh, which is fine. The Switch and 3DS version has Odyssey inspired levels, which are really good. However, playing with the, because sometimes you would like use the gyro on the uh, Joy-Con to touch something on screen and interact with it, like, the, the game on Wii U had a lot of touchpad interactivity, on the Switch you just use the Joy-Con. 
not as good that's why i say the 3ds version low key might be the definitive version obviously it's going to look the worst out of the three but in terms of having that new mechanics and having the touchscreen controls i think the uh the 3ds version is probably one of the best i th also think that game particularly would look good with 3d but uh yeah captain toad treasure tracker i just wanted to mention it because it is a very very good game underrated uh another game that actually i don't even know why i grabbed uh the switch version simply is better they sped it up it's a lot better on switch so i'm not gonna talk about 3d world you know 3d world it's a good game <laughs> you know don't really need to talk about it uh this is one i also debated grabbing but i wanted to talk about it real quick anyway super smash bros for wii u this game has not been replaced on switch but it is certainly diminished its value on wii u um not not literal monetary value but like mo value of like playing again it's still a smash game that is unique and has unique play style it's not as fun <laughs> in my opinion um smash ultimate for me personally has replaced it yes but certain people will probably still want to go back to this. It does have your broken Bayonetta in there if you like that. Um, it has Smash Tour. It is the last console Smash game that has trophies. That's something. Um, I, I'm curious, once again, like Mario Kart, if this is still active on Wii U. It probably is, so I might do a U quest on this soon. Um, and then, yeah, if you have been watching all my 3S and Wii U videos, you're worried about the eShop closing. This game does have a lot of DLC. Mario Kart 8 also had paid DLC, so maybe you want to get that before the uh, shop closes. Uh, but yeah, Mar Smash Bros, it, it goes without saying that uh, this is one of the Wii U's best games. Also, I didn't realize it had like an actual manual. That's cool. Uh, moving on, three more games that have been ported or otherwise replaced on Wii U. Uh, of course, we have Splatoon. I actually like this game more than Splatoon 2. I didn't play Splatoon too much after they finished updating it, to be honest, or even during its updates. I played it the month it came out, and at the, the month it came out, it was really bare bones for me. Um, I think they missed the mark there a little bit. I think they should have come out a little bit stronger. I'm really, really hoping Splatoon 3 doesn't have this issue. But um, yeah, Splatoon 1 was just a magical time to be a Wii U owner. Mixed with the next game we're going to talk about, which is, spoiler alert, Mario Maker. That summer of Wii U was the best time to be a Wii U owner by far. It's not even close. Um, Splatoon was a magical time. Getting this on release day. It came out the same day as my damn NES Amiibo. I think it was like Jigglypuff and Greninja. Just a great time to be a Wii U owner. Splatoon was so much fun for years. I played that game for years. Um, I think the maps... I can't really say the maps are better because most of the maps ended up getting added to Splatoon 2. But I think the base game maps of Splatoon 2 are worse than Splatoon 1. Um, but yeah... I'm excited for Splatoon 3. This game's really good. I will say the... I can't remember. I, Octo Expansion, obviously the best of the campaigns. I think I remember liking the Splatoon 1 campaign a little bit more than Splatoon 2 in terms of like boss battles and stuff. So yeah, uh, Splatoon 1, very good. Still active. I did a U quest on this. Go check that out. Maybe I'll put a card up if I remember. I probably won't. Um, and then going along with that, I also mentioned this. Uh, Super Mario Maker. I think this game is inherently just better than Spl uh, Mario Maker 1. Listen, I know it's not, it might sound stupid. Bro, the, the Mii costume has added so much life to this game. So, so much life. Because they were doing them weekly. Every week, there was a new course made by Nintendo where you unlock a new costume. Not having that in Mario Maker 2 killed it. That game only got, like, what, three content updates? And yes, maybe overall it had more new content added. It had, like, the Zelda costume and, like, the... They had other ones, too. It wasn't the same. Having those weekly updates kept people coming back to Mario Maker on Wii U, like like a drug it was so much fun um on with mario maker on switch it just did not have that same longevity for me i played that game the week or two it came out and then i was done there was no reason for me to keep playing it to be honest i know a lot of people would disagree but that's just my take and also i don't think i made a single level for mario maker 2 on switch i i couldn't do it it's not fun to do it with a controller yeah i could pull it out of the dock and use a touch i don't want to do that i want the gamepad this game was made for the wii u and I think this is the definitive version of Mario Maker. Final port I'm going to talk about. Uh, well, final Switch port I want to talk about because there are some other ones. Uh, Pokemon Tournaments. This game is a pretty slept one, I think. This game is really fun. I would love to see a sequel. I don't have much to say other than that. I'm not super into competitive fighting games. I don't even know if you can really call this a competitive fighting game. It's not Smash. Um, but yeah, this game, is, this game is very fun. Another game just get on Switch because it has new content, of course. But uh, yeah, very good. So, more, another game that is ported, but not to Switch. This got a 3DS port. I actually think this is the best Yoshi game. Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, I think this is better than Yoshi's Island. 
Crafted World is very good too. I do think this slightly edges it out though. Um, this game's so adorable, man. Uh, like I said, it is on 3DS with some new content. That new content is pretty negligible, meaning this is the definitive version in my opinion. Because this game is so beautiful, you want to see it in 1080p or 720, whatever it runs at. Um, HD, you want to see it in HD. Wooly World is very good. Unlikely for a Switch port, but uh, my friend Kayla thinks it's not going to. I think it could happen later in the Switch's life when Xenoblade X happens, when maybe Star Fox happens. But yeah, this game is very good. My favorite Yoshi game, personally. Now we're getting to some actual Wii U exclusives. This is exciting. <laughs> this is very exciting. Uh, so this is a game that I, I need to put more time into. I've played it a lot, keep in mind. I just haven't played it a lot recently, so a lot of my memories are a little foggy. But uh, Nintendo Land. This game does not get the love it deserves. It is better than Wii Sports in every feasible way. The love and care put into this game and all of its mini games is so good. Having that little plaza where you get Nintendo themed attractions to run around it, dude. This game, this game is a gem. I would love to. Obviously, they can't port this because it used the gamepad so heavily. But seeing this game come back in a new concept for the Switch, man, I would love, love, love to see that. Uh, Pikmin Adventure is amazing. Uh, let's see here. They actually, yeah, they actually have a list. Zelda Battle Quest. That was fine. Uh, cool to see like some Zelda environments in HD and like the. Almost Yoshi's Woolly World aesthetic, like little sewn up uh, bacab ones. Pikmin Adventure was really fun. Metroid Blast is obviously one of the standouts. Mario Chase and Animal Crossing Sweet Day are the two best multiplayer games like, fucking ever on the Wii U. Those are amazing. Luigi's Ghost Mansion is pretty fun. And then the single player stuff is pretty good too. Yoshi's Fruit Card, that was fun on the gamepad. Donkey Kong's Crash Course. Um, the other ones aren't as great. Balloon Trip Breeze is fine. Captain, Fal Captain Falcon's Twister Race. I like how they didn't even call it F-Zero. Nintendo Land is very good. You can get it very cheap. If you have a Wii U and you have not picked up Nintendo Land, I implore you to do so. It is very good. Next up, I actually just did a U quest about this game as well. Go check that out. I think people seem to enjoy that. So uh, thank you for the support on that video. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Of course, it's Kirby Month, as you know. Uh, this game is very good and underrated. I don't know if it's the best Kirby game. I think most people would. The fact that he even suggested that right now probably pissed some people off. I really like this, though, when it came out. Epic Yarn, I think, is probably still my favorite Kirby game. Maybe outside of some 3DS ones that I just recently played. You might have seen a video on Planet Ribobot and Triple Deluxe. I really did like those games. Um, but yeah, Kirby Rainbow Curse, very good. It uses the gamepad very heavily, so unlikely to get ported. I thought it was going to come to 3DS, but it never did. Uh, but yeah, Rainbow Curse is a very, very good game. I don't have much to say about it, though. Hey, go check out my U Quest uh, that I did on it. Uh, next up is the entirety of the Zelda series. Of course, I already talked about Hyrule Warriors, uh, but let's get into this. So, uh, we'll start with this one, Breath of the Wild. Obviously, this is on Switch. I actually played the Wii U version initially, because, uh, it may or may not have leaked online, <laughs> uh, before the Switch even came out. But, uh, Breath of the Wild is obviously incredible. The Wii U version's fine. It has all the DLC, so technically, there's not much incentive to play the, the Switch version, I don't think. I don't think they did any updates. That weren't on Wii U, so Breath of the Wild's good to get. Uh, then we have the two remakes. So we have Twilight Princess HD, which I have actually not finished. Uh, like Majora's Mask for the longest time, I just haven't had the motivation to actually finish this game. I do need to do it at some point. Twilight Princess HD is the one 3D Zelda I have not finished at this point. So uh, yeah, I need to finish Twilight Princess. And then Wind Waker. Uh, this is my favorite Zelda game, I think. It's hard to say. The Zelda series is so dang good, um, but Wind Waker is incredible and uh, you should play it and i hope both those games get ported to switch it's seemingly not happening right now but hopefully that changes um a couple more games here let's go ahead and get these out of the way since they aren't exclusive and are just a lot of people might laugh at me uh these are the two call of duty games on wii u man this is my most or not this one this is my most played wii u game i put like 700 hours into this game uh man God. <laughs> Growing up, I did not have I, I didn't have Xbox Live uh, and I didn't have a PS3 and I didn't even really have good enough internet to play Call of Duty online. I used to play locally in like Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 with my brother, but uh, Black Ops 2 was the first one I really got able to play online uh, with friends and it was a freaking blast. Ghosts is not as good uh, and it, the, both of these games are pretty dead. I've, I've done you quest videos on both of these games, so go check those out. They're both pretty dead server wise, but uh, man, the memories I made playing these games are inseparable from me specifically black ops 2 ghosts i still had a lot of fun playing on wii u but i eventually did switch to the ps4 version but black ops 2 man this will always be my version of this game it had no dlc no support it got nuketown that's about it um and yeah i just i just really ado I adored this game on wii u um and it's cool to see some actual third-party support on the wii u of course that was only early one 
two more random games here um and i should have say i don't really know what my favorite wii u game is at this point i guess wind waker hd but that doesn't feel real because that's a remake um god i guess maybe splatoon i don't know actually it's hard to pinpoint a favorite wii u game like total favorite none of this has been in any order but i should say what my favorite is i don't actually know um sorry <laughs> uh two more games here though that are probably never getting ported um nes remix pack i never played nes remix 2 to be fair uh but nes remix 1 was an absolute delight when it came out on the eShop. i think after like a direct in 2014 or something um really fun maybe 2013 uh really fun just mashup of nes games i love this it's a lot of fun probably never coming to switch even though it should it is on 3ds as ultimate nes remix i never played that version and then finally this is an import actually a game that a lot of people don't really talk about because i think a lot of people are just negative on the series as a whole mario versus donkey kong tipping stars uh this is this came out like right when i started making videos so i made like a full guide for this video like every level i had a little tutorial how to get all three stars in uh obviously those videos are long gone but yeah i had a lot of fun with uh mario versus donkey kong tipping stars this is a very good game i think Listen, people are like, oh, Donkey Kong 94, Mario and Donkey Kong on the GBA. These are the ones you want to play. Those games are fine. I think these games are better. I'm just going to be honest. I think these games are more modernized. They might be a little babyfied, but I think these games are more fun than the older Mario vs. Donkey Kong games on the, well, not, DK94, obviously, is the one people talk about, as well as the first one in GBA. But I think the modern ones are pretty damn good. I haven't really played... Um, the names are confusing because they did pump out so many of them. I played, I think it was March of the Minis. That was the second one. And then they also did like a free-to-play one on Wii U. I don't know. There's a lot of games in the series. This is the one I played the most. I really like this. There's also some cool ones on 3DS like uh, Minis on the Move. It was like a 3D game. Good franchise. I hope they bring this back. And then, of course, I can't end this video without talking about my favorite game. Uh, this is this is the real favorite here. Devil's Third, fellas. <laughs> No, I just wanted to show this real quick. Uh, Double Start, I actually do want to do... Uh, let me know. Let me know. It, should I do a U quest on this game? See how it's holding up in 2022? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but there you guys have it. Those are all my favorite Wii U games. I just dropped the, the expensive Wii U game, Double Start. Um, I probably missed some stuff. I was looking through my shelf. This is everything that really, really spoke to me. I didn't grab, like, Game & Wario or the Wonderful 101. I haven't played Bayonetta 2. That's a that's a notable one. Um, Wii Sports Club, I don't really count. We, we Party U, I haven't played. So, there's some certain games I have not played. Xenoblade X, I think, is the major one that would probably have been on this list had I played it, as well as Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Uh, Star Fox Zero, I don't think is very good. So, yeah. There you guys have it. Those are my favorite Wii U games. Let me know what your favorite Wii U games are down in the comments below. Let's get a discussion going. Of course, uh, we can keep that discussion going in my Discord. People have been joining that. Got a lot of people in there now uh, talking about deals, sharing deals, talking about their collections. So a lot of fun in the Discord. Check that out as well in the description. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, only like 90% of you are currently subscribed. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. It really does help me out. Follow me on Twitter at Botox Media. Um, what else am I forgetting? I don't think so. I don't think I'm seeing anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.